Welcome to HQ How To, your ultimate guide to caring for your home. Preserve your investment by following these essential home maintenance tips. Here's our customer experience manager to show you how to. Hello again, Josh here with Hunter Quinn Homes. Welcome to another episode of HQ How To on your breaker panel. I would like to talk a little bit today about your breaker panel. What is in here, what do you expect it to look like, and how to operate any of your breakers if in the event they trip or you need to turn one on or off. This is your typical breaker panel. Most of them are gray. These black things here are your actual individual breakers. The breakers with the white test buttons are your arc fault breakers. The breakers with the purple test buttons are your GFCI breakers. GFCI stands for Ground Circuit Fault Interrupt. This is breakers that are placed in circuits that are in wet locations. So all of your outside outlets, all of your kitchen outlets, all of your bathroom outlets, and outlets in your garage will be protected by these GFCI breakers. And what I mean by that is when this one, one of these breakers trips, you simply turn it off and turn it back on, and I will demonstrate that now. I'm gonna trip this breaker. Uh, so that would simulate something going wrong on that circuit, whether you overloaded it or there was a problem. You would simply wanna turn this breaker off, turn it back on. Same for the GFCI breakers. If you were to trip a, a circuit or a breaker on the GFCI protected, say in your kitchen, uh, which is here, I'll test that one. You would turn it off and then turn it back on, just as any breaker you have in the past. Each of these individual breakers is designated to a certain portion of your home. For example, this breaker could be for your master bedroom, could be for bedroom number two, or it could be for your living room. It could include lights or outlets. These larger breakers uh, are for your 220 power. So examples of that would be a heater, a stove, a dryer. This big black breaker here is the main breaker. This will turn power off to the entire home from here moving forward into the house. Your breaker panel may or may not have this. If you do not have this, then your main breaker will be located on a disconnect next to your meter outside. If you notice, there are numbers stamped into the metal on the left and the right side. Uh, on this particular panel, the even numbers are on the left, odd numbers are on the right. Those numbers correspond to these labels. This is where your breakers are individually labeled. So for example, uh, breaker number one, which is here, is your garage breaker. The breaker above that, number three, that's your smoke detector breaker, so on and so forth. Each of these should be accurately labeled. Uh, if you ever have any issues with this, best thing to do is call a licensed electrician. Thanks for watching today. We look forward to sharing more home maintenance tips on the next HQ How To.